You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm just sending you an email. My name is uh, Nizir I... Uh... I don't know what to sound exactly, but I went to prison uh, for marking the known truth from religion and the ritual, rituals of Islam and the prophets and the messengers of God. And I just got out like 19 days ago, and uh, I live in Algeria right now, and uh, uh, I don't know what to do, actually. I, uh, I'm scared shitless, and uh, basically my... My whole life got ruined because I went to prison uh, for mocking what is known uh, of religion. And I've tried to contact you on Twitter, but I don't know how to send a message on Twitter for some reason. Uh, the thing is, I really just wanted to, wanted to like share my story with you. That's all. Um, in Algeria, the justice system just like violated my freedom of speech because I used to run a Facebook page called Algerian Atheist. And they sent me to jail for three years. After I appealed the sentence, they gave me one year. So yeah, so that's it. If you could like contact me, I'd love to share my story. And thank you. Hello. I wish everyone is doing pretty good. So I'm an ex-Muslim. I'm, I'm from Morocco. I was raised, raised there and anyways, I was born in a fucking strict conservative family. I was forced to wear the hijab, forced to wear like, you know, long clothes and ugly and fashion clothes. Um, something that I didn't really like. Um, I was, um, I left Islam at the age of 15 and now I'm 17, almost 18. Um, Living with my family is totally crazy because they're all the time talking about religion and everything is about religion. You could eat like, and they would say, did you say Bismillah? And I was like, yeah, okay. This is really like, it's it's something that bothers me a lot, you know, because everything is about Islam. Everything in, in, in my life is about Islam. Uh, drinking, um, water, of course. <laughs> And my lifestyle, the way I'm talking, the way I'm wearing clothes and all of that. Anyways, um, there is that one day that um, I did tell a classmate of mine. And I was thinking that my generation are cool, you know. They don't really care about it, about religion and stuff. But unfortunately, they are not because um, my classmate did tell all school. Like, I was so fucking famous my second year of high school, really so fucking famous. Like, everyone knows about me. Oh, the atheists. I was walking in the street and people were, like, following me and calling me, oh, atheists, atheists, atheists. It was really fucking crazy and it was driving me insane. The thing that the teachers were telling me, the infidel, um, uh, the, my classmates, I even once been hit by a classmate of mine. Um, uh, one day there is two girls that comes to me and said, oh, you have to die, you have to kill yourself, you have no, you have no right to live, you're atheist, you love Islam, the most beautiful religion in the world and stuff, you know. It was really crazy. Um, after, uh, after that, I skipped classes, had bad uh, marks. And um, after that, um, I think the end of the year, uh, I was... My my little brother was my my best friend, so I told him I'm an atheist and I don't believe in uh, Islam anymore. And the thing that I trusted him, but unfortunately, he said he he told my he told my brother, my older brother. And you know, like um, we are in a society that the men have all the power and the control in your life, so you have no right to control your life. But your brother, your husband, or your father have all the right to do that. You could not say no. You should not say no and, you know, all of that shit. 
So I didn't think is that my brother knew and uh, he told my parents and uh, he told me that, um, oh, I will kill you one day um, and stuff like this. So my brother now, is, it's really crazy. We don't have a really good relationship. After that, I did run away. I did come back and told him, oh, I am a Muslim again and stuff. After that, I did run away again at the age of 17. And um, they did find me. Um, I was forced to come home. I was forced. Because they did bring me to the police. The police told me that you have no right and you should come back to your family. We can't protect you and all of that stuff. And they even like there's one that told me, oh, you have to respect your parents. You have to come back and you have no right to say no because you're still 17. You're not 18 and all of that shit. Anyways, um... Now I'm telling my parents that I'm a Muslim, even if I'm not. But um, it's really crazy. Um, feeling a little bit depressed, you know. I hate lying. I hate living two lives. Um, it's depressing. It drives me crazy. Um, yeah, but I have my plan. I want to um, hack got like my high school degree because this year I didn't I did skill um this year. Now I'm going to see a therapist. Like my parents did like they did um bring me to a therapist so I can be Muslim again, whatever it is. Um so my plan is to leave this country and claim for being a refugee somewhere. And yeah, thank you for listening. Hello, this is Demil Maliki from Tunisia uh speaking Iceland, atheists in, atheist in Sweden. Uh, I reached to Sweden very l- legally uh, through a family connection uh, visa or residence support permit, but my wife was a Muslim. So she didn't want to help me anymore, so uh, the Swedish immigration asked me to leave after I came here, I started participating in my atheism and, and being like normal, natural atheist. And I received threats from my home and, and, and also I was having problems, different type of problems and threats. And I was, uh, an atheist who lives in shadows in Tunisia. So I'm facing a really huge problem, uh, down here in, I, I I applied for an ISLAM in Sweden, but the the immigration decided to reject my case based on the fact that atheists are safe in Tunisia. This is what the lawyer of the immigration told me. But uh, when I go there, when I went there to the immigration and they uh, handed me the, the 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 copy of the rejection, it appears that or it appeared that the rejection was based on my political activism in Tunis, and it wasn't that the main reason that I applied for an Islam it was for the reason that I'm an atheist and I, I have problems in my country of threatenings and, and threatenings by murder and, and, and stuff like that. So... It's complicated. Thank you. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to atheistrepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.